In this video, we'll be looking at the way that you can use PDF annotation on your tablets. PDF annotation is a useful way to enable students to focus their attention on documents that you've either asked them to search for using the web browser or that you've provided on the tablet before the session. Annotation can be used to help identify key points in the documents that can then be fed back uh, at the end of the session as part of discussion or as a way to mark up documents that could be referred to later on as long as you save them back off the tablet to somewhere like Google Drive. To enable PDF annotation, you really need to install a good PDF reader. And this example here uses Adobe Reader. And opening up the PDF file within Adobe Reader, you'll see this sort of screen. At the very top, you'll notice a toolbar. And if you don't see that on your tablet, just tap the top of the PDF and it will appear. The icon that we're interested in here is the annotations icon. It looks like a speech bubble with a pen next to it and appears on the top right. If you tap that, then the toolbar will change and you'll get a new series of icons which represents all the annotation tools that you have available. And you can see on this PDF example, I've used several and uh, we'll go through each of those in turn. So the first one is the note tool and this acts like a post-it note marker. You click the note icon and then you tap onto the PDF where you want the note to be positioned. When you do so, you'll get prompted to type in your notes in a little pop-up box. And then you should need to click save at the top of that to save your post-it note. The note will then appear on the PDF as a small yellow icon. And clicking on that will then make the uh, post-it note appear again. The second tool of interest is the highlight tool. And as you can see on the middle of this document, we've selected some text there. It's very easy to use. You click the highlight icon and then you just select the text that you want to be highlighted. The third and final tool we're we'll looking at is the freehand tool. And again, very easy to use. You click the icon and then you can draw on top of the document. And you can see that the red splodges that I've put on this PDF were drawn with this freehand tool. When you go into freehand drawing mode, um, you will be able to undo each drawing as well using the icon at the top right. But you'll also need to save when you're finished. So clicking on the save icon top right will then take you back to the main document screen. Once you've finished all your annotations, you do need to save the PDF. It doesn't do this automatically, so you could in fact do a load of annotations and for some reason the tablet doesn't save uh, and you're going to lose them all. So in order to save your PDF, you actually need to just close it. So to do that in Adobe Reader, you just simply click the back arrow at the very top left of the screen and that will probably bring up a little prompt that says PDF document saved. Once you've saved the PDF to the tablet, you will then need to upload it to your own space, and that could be on Google Drive, and we'll look at that in the next video.